Yeah, there we go. Well, I'm going to uh, switch over to my slideshow for just one second, give you a little slideshow. My name's Bill Jackson. Always a pleasure to be here at uh, AES. Very excited to be here because uh, we're giving you guys a free sneak preview at uh, Pro Tools 8. How many Pro Tools 8 users in the house? Just me? Nice. Excellent. So, uh, this doesn't look like Kino, but... Um, Matt, can I get Kino jump? Yeah. That's what it's all about. Okay, Pro Tools 8. Absolutely incredible. I'm just going to run you through a bunch of new features. What I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to introduce you to the UI, brand new UI. I'm also going to introduce you to some of the new mini features, which I know you're going to love. I'm loving them. Can't put, put my hands down. I just can't get out of this program. I'm going to be looking at a little bit of scoring too, which is something you've probably never seen before inside of Pro Tools 8. I'm going to show you a little bit of track comping, a little bit of elastic pitch. I'm going to introduce you to some incredible new virtual instruments. So let's just get straight in there and, uh, and take a look at the mix window. This is the mix window in Pro Tools. Again, a complete refresh of the UI. If I just scroll over just a little bit, um, I think someone may have actually turned off my colors. Let's just take a look here on the call palette. That's correct. Someone's turned off my colors. So, new improved color palette. Let's you color any of your tracks, regions, or different colors. We have a nice little uh, saturation there, so if you want the colors bright, we also have a brightness control. It's a little bit more customizable in that area. The mixer itself, well, it's got new uh, LEDs, new knobs, we've got wide metering, uh, we've also got new knobs instead of uh, pan sliders, we now have pan knobs. You'll notice on the input output selectors, just a little click there, opens up your floating uh, window there. We've always had 10 cents, we now have uh, 10 insert channels, inserts F through J, so now you can put up to 10 inserts on all of your channels, that's very nice. And uh, of course we can always come and click right there to just view all of our sends as a little mixer right there. We could obviously do the same thing right down here on the other 10 sends, just like so. So that's the mixer. Let's uh, take a little brief look at the edit window. Uh, you'll see now we have a universe built right into the edit window. This is fully adjustable, like so. Make it as large or as small as you want. And you just simply click, drag, and navigate around. You want to go over here to the backing vocals. That's... Uh, and I can simply grab that, come back over here, see what that is. Oh, that's uh, some pick guitar. Just simply click on it. And then just play it. So that's the universe. It, uh, you can hide it over there, just like so. Lots of little new icons, like for closing your track list, just there, like so. Brand new toolbar, check out the new toolbar, a little bit more 3D logging. Uh, we can go minimal, like so, or we can say, let's view uh, my MIDI controls at the top. A nice new mode here, we're in grid mode. We can also be in grid and slip mode. So for example, we can select any of the free time, and we can move in slip time. So it's either we're moving in slip time or selecting in grid time. So that's very nice. There we go, we'll go back to grid mode. Now maybe you want to customize this toolbar. So if you hold down the command key and start moving these elements anywhere you want. Your track list looks nice and new. Now the ability to hide and show tracks by simply clicking and dragging. So if I want to option click, hide all my tracks, and maybe just view some of my drum tracks. I can just click and slide. There we go. I can scroll down and say I want to take a look at some mini tracks as well. And again, just much easier for your workflow, much easier and quicker to navigate around. So that's nice. So that's the UI. Let's, uh, let's just move on. Let's just get straight into it. And uh, you'll notice this uh, little split window right here. That is our new, what we call our new docked editor. So for example, if you want to come down and edit some MIDI, we can simply select our MIDI tracks, just zoom in on a selection, and then come down here and zoom in like so. We'll just make a selection over there on my bass movement track. There's my arpeggiated track. And everything just simply come down to the bottom half, start clicking on your notes and either moving them around, deleting them, changing velocity. 
And this window again has a split pane of its own, so we can view mini notes along with a lane of velocity. So for example, I can grab my velocity notes right there and just either change them like so, or I can just grab the command key and click on any of these notes and just simply with one modifier change the velocity. The MIDI editor has its own set of tracks on the side, so if I want to view more than uh, one MIDI track at a time in the editor, that is no problem. And again, it's got its own little toolbar that you can simply pick things up. I can grab that and just move it over to that side. So again, fully customizable, and a simple double click will hide that secondary pane. We can even view this MIDI editor as a uh, track notation if we want. Uh, there's your zoom tool, just like the edit window. Command T takes you over to the trimmer tool that lets me simply extend notes like so trim them down. Uh, again, Command 7, that gives us a smart tool so that one tool can either pick notes up, move them around, Command key to do velocity, trim, and, uh, and then hold down another modifier. There's my pencil tool. If I want to click and insert, I can do that. Click and insert, and then just simply double click to delete, and then we simply close that window like so, and we're back to the MIDI editor. And again, just quickly back to the UI, everything has sort of been consolidated. Up here we've got all of our time order stuff, and then down here we have all of our other information like real-time properties over here. You can also view the other 10 inserts over there. And of course, as we drag each track, make it smaller, make it bigger, everything opens up, becomes bigger. Of course, click to adjust volume, click to adjust pan. Very easy, and again, improves your workflow, lets you get things done a lot quicker. So uh, let's jump over here quickly, and uh, let me just show you. Let me just show you this: <coughs> the new score editor. So let's just take a listen to this. What I'm going to do again: the commonality of the track list on the left-hand side that doesn't show you every track; it only shows you MIDI tracks. So, for example, if I want to just hide everything that I'm working at in the score window and just simply come back and take a look down here at my piano score. If we want to do something else in like the bass line, we just simply click over there, we'll play that again. And so now you've got your piano clef and you've got your bass clef. If you want to make an adjustment to it, just come over to the track list, right click, and then just open the notation track settings. And here we're looking at the bass synthesizer. It's a bass clef, we can change it to a treble clef if we want. The thing about the notation inside of Pro Tools is simplified. You just want to edit with notes, you just want to lay out your notes, you want to print your lead sheets. It shouldn't be complicated, it should just be simple. So what we try to give you is everything you need and not a lot of crap that we don't. So again, back here we've got global and individual attributes. Display quantization can be uh, independently set. I can simply come over here, select the MIDI grand, for example, and uh, display quantize that to eight notes, like so. And again, we can zoom out all the way, like so, view all of our different pages. We can come up to the new file menu and go to the score setup. Here we've got the title, the composer, uh, display settings right here, spacing between your staves, layout, either letter, legal, or tabloid, or landscape, like so. Your choice to display the tracks you want and to print out the tracks that you want to print out, nothing that you don't. And again, simple click and drag to display anything you want. There we go, you want to hide everything, just simply option click, you want to show everything, option click, there you go. Scoring, same as the MIDI editor, we've got a whole set of tools up here and it's fully customizable like so. Let's just take